Now here I'm gonna go over footwear evidence comparisons and have a pretty good example to show you, which you may, you may not catch during the duration of this video. So you're welcome to pause the video or go in the description, download the slides for yourself and try to look at some of the points that I bring up because a lot of this takes just a lot of going back and forth, a lot of time spent to develop that kind of detailed eye. So what can footwear impressions tell you? Well, they can actually tell you a lot. They can identify the footwear, eliminate certain footwear, um, participate but they identify participants and the suspect in the crime. They can kind of offer locations of impressions, how those might play into what may have occurred, rebuttal or conf confirm alibis, link suspects, determine shoe size, to try to determine number of people present, track, kind of see where the direction of travel was. Um, so they can actually tell you quite a bit. And that's why they're an important piece of evidence. So footwear um, evidence, kind of these impressions, well, I've kind of found a great he example here. We're looking at a print, looking at some of the details and kind of pointing out some of the key components to this particular shoe. Now it's very important to kind of orient yourself have an idea of the size uh, so that when you have the actual sample, you're able to go through and kind of glean all of these wonderful details. And again, you're looking at kind of the manufacturer to just the general size to obviously looking at just the general tread as well. So how may that play into certain aspects when you're making these comparisons? We also have kind of class characteristics to look at, and that's what you should be looking at first. Now keep in mind class characteristics in general. Uh, there's numerous class characteristics. That's only to kind of give you that general kind of size, tread design, things you can obviously see. They're still important. They're very important for potentially of eliminating certain shoe types. And we see kind of a whole bunch listed here. And I'll even move myself kind of out of the image here so you can kind of be able to determine and see that kind of comparison between the two. Again, these class characteristics can be simple as manufacturer, tread design, um, and things like that. What you wanted to be able to get to, potentially if you think that you have things that match on a class characteristic end, you want to get to the wear characteristics. And this can be getting into more of that individual evidence. The question shoe print shows wear characteristics that are similar to that of the known shoe. A very little wear on lateral edges in the forefoot section of the shoe print of the shoe. So you're looking at, you know, you're having a lot of wear up here and not so much down here. So it's getting into wear characteristics, getting into that more individual characteristics. And again, as I mentioned, those class characteristics, here's some very specific ones kind of identified here. Remember, class characteristics are distinctive of particular model of shoe, identification of class characteristics and the footwear impressions allow examiners to determine the manufacturer model, sizing of shoe, shoe wear, and also the impressions. Some class, cl class characteristics present in the shoe above, and I've kind of pr provided you with some kind of comparisons here that you say. However, when we get more specific, we get into those individual characteristics. So we're talking about individual characteristics. We're now looking at characteristics that are very distinctive to that particular shoe. These consist of random damage on the outsole. They could cause a little, if there's a little piece of gum attached, if there's a, gr um, a crack in one of the um, areas of the shoe. Um, this is really matching it up to something that isn't found on all shoes. Photograph above, there's about 12 individual characteristics here. We can kind of see highlighted um, in that comparison of the actual shoe to the impression provided. This is why a detailed impression is so important. Here's kind of that last detailed impression comparison with some kind of arrows indicating uh, to allow you to kind of see kind of where those arrows are pointing and can you kind of pick that piece of evidence out and can you kind of identify those individual characteristics. Uh, if you want to kind of do some comparisons, you could go grab one of your own shoes and see if you can identify any individual characteristics for your own shoe with this helpful video.